on Saturday night, the Ravens played the Bills and they lost 3 to 17. This game was filled with mistakes. Filled 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 with mistakes. Both kickers missed uh, I believe two field goals. The Bills kicker, all right, you're the Bills kicker, you're a regular kicker. Not a big deal. Tucker missing two field goals, that's crazy. Both of them hitting the uprights, one on the left, one on the right. Ridiculous crazy stuff. That kind of signaled the night that the Ravens were going to have, but this game really changed when Teron Johnson had 101 pick Pick six. The score was 10 to 3. The Ravens were marching down the field to tie the game 10 10 at the end of the third quarter. Taron Johnson intercepts. Lamar Jackson takes it 101 yards. Uh, White escorts him, gets Jackson off of him. And Taron Johnson gets into the end zone, makes the game 17 to 3. And that was pretty much ball game. Two position, two possession lead in a game that had been super low scoring where the offenses had, hadn't been able to get a lot going. That was that was kind of it, especially because the third quarter had two possessions. The Bills got the opening kickoff to start the second half, and they took like six minutes, drove down the field, took that 10-3 lead. The game was tied 3-3 at halftime. And then the Ravens got the ball, I believe, with eight or nine minutes left in the third quarter, and they had a lengthy, long, impressive, impressive drive, if I do say so myself, going uh, the, the length of the field, they took it to like, I think it was goal to goal distance. They probably got to like the eight yard line. Impressive drive. They converted on several third downs. They might've converted on a fourth down too, but it was impressive drive. They, they chewed up a lot of clock. Like I said, there was only two possessions in the third quarter and you thought the Ravens were going to, you thought the Ravens were going to score and tie the game, but Lamar Jackson throws a pick six, doesn't see Teron Johnson coming underneath the route for his tight end, I believe, and he just makes incredible play, returns it 101 yards. But what most people don't remember, or if you weren't watching the game, you won't see this, the play right before the pick six, Lamar Jackson had, I believe, Sneed running wide open, wide open. They, they drew him up. He was running across, across the field. He even lifted his hand. He was wide open. If Lamar Jackson sees him or if he has time, it's an easy touchdown, 10-10 game. Changes everything. We're going into the fourth quarter tied 10-10. We're tied at halftime 3-3. We would have gone into the fourth quarter 10-10. It would have been a great finish. But the offensive line couldn't give Lamar Jackson the time. He gets pressured down the middle real quick. He tries to scramble right, but the guy is coming in too hot. He just has to throw it away. The ball doesn't get to – I believe it was Snead. The ball doesn't get to Snead or whatever wide receiver was wide open, and he he, he can't get enough arm strength on it because he's running away. And they missed the opportunity to score a touchdown. And the very next play, he throws a pick six, gets returned for 101 yards. 17-3, final score, game over, shut. So it's just, it's crazy how quickly a game could change. Literally the play before, he has a wide receiver running wide open. If he hits him, it's 10-10. Offensive line doesn't do their job or they've sent too many people Pressures him, can't get the throw, pick six the next play. Just crazy, crazy stuff. And then the Ravens had a lot of mistakes. I already mentioned the missed field goals, but they had a lot of bad snaps throughout the game. I don't know what's going on with the center. It was pretty loud in the Bills stadium. Uh, they, they were allowed to have fans, and it sounded like they had a packed stadium. They had bad snaps. They had missed field goals. They had drop passes. One of those bad snaps really turned out to be costly. For the Bills, as Lamar Jackson was heading back into his end zone, picked up the ball, threw it out of bounds. He, he I mean, at the end, he, if, even if he would have just fallen on it, it would have been the same um, conclusion or the same result because he ended up getting a intentional grounding. But in the attempt to make a play, to try to get the ball out, to not lose any yards, to just get an incompletion, Lamar Jackson gets tackled. He falls. He, he hits his head on the floor and he leaves the game with a concussion and he would not return so that was pretty that was game over if it was already game over 17 to 3 after the pick six once Lamar Jackson went out once he couldn't return to the game that was game over uh you knew that whoever came in was not going to bring the the Ravens back and that's exactly what happened it, there was just the Ravens don't have enough weapons to make that happen um but once once uh once the backup QB came in, 
I, I heard, I think Collinsworth saying like, oh, now one of the Ravens stars needs to make a play. And in my head, I was like, what stars? Like, all right, Dobbins is cool. Uh, Hollywood Brown, he's cool. Sneed is all right. Uh, their tight end is good. But who's their star? Who Who's their star on offense? I, I, I never really thought, like, uh, they have a star on offense that's going to bring this team back that, all right, if, if the QB goes down, just hit that. Just you can count on this guy. Like, who? Who's going to bring him back? Like, if Rodgers goes down, you know, all right, you got to target Devontae Adams. That's your number one. That's your star. Like, he's going to get open. Just he's your safety blanket. If Breeze gets down, you know, hit Thomas or something. Maybe not this weekend, but you know what I'm trying to say. For the Ravens, it was like, okay, like, oh, now we're going to target Snead on every play or we're going to just feed the ball to Dobbins. I don't know. I think the Ravens need to get their offense together. They need to give Lamar Jackson better weapons because there was a lot of times at the beginning of the quarter, I saw Jackson. He was scrambling. He was doing, he was dancing in the pocket and he could not, he, they could not get to him. And then he tried to dump it off to Dobbins. Dobbins could just not catch it, and it would kill this drive. And that happened like a couple of times where Dobbins just couldn't catch the ball, and that really kills momentum. It really like just, I feel like it sucks the life out of you sometimes. And me as a neutral, I was like, oh my god, that sucks. That must suck for Lamar Jackson that he's running around trying to stay alive, and he can't. Uh, and he he does a simple dump off to the running back, and he drops it. But enough of the Ravens. They did have a lot of mistakes, but shout out to the Bills for causing those mistakes. Their offense did enough. Um, and I'm excited to see the Bills in the championship game. They're playing the Chiefs next week. Josh Allen versus uh, Mahomes, hopefully, if he comes back from the concussion. But the Bills look good. Even though the offense has carried them, their offense only scored 10 points this game. The Ravens' defense is good, is elite. So I don't, I mean, I give them a pass. The Bills' defense showed up. Like I said, the pick six, create pressure to to not let the opponent score a touchdown. So Bills Mafia, I know you guys are excited. I know you guys are going to be going crazy. Um, you guys might even get into into uh, Arrowhead. I, I don't know how many tickets you're going to sell, but I wouldn't be surprised if Bills Mafia gets into the stadium. Shout out to all the Bills Mafia. I, I can only imagine how many broken tables there is in Buffalo right now or on Saturday or throughout this whole week, there's going to be a lot of broken tables. And maybe next Saturday or Sunday, whenever they play the Chiefs, there might be even, there might be more. Uh, either either one, whoever wins this game, I, I would like to see them win the Super Bowl. Uh, Chiefs Chiefs was my, my pick before the season, so uh, I, I'm rooting for them a little bit more. But if the Bills win, I do want them to win the Super Bowl ahead, ahead of the NFC teams. But Ravens had just way too many mistakes to win this game. The Bills caused some of those mistakes, and they did enough to win the game. It was a great game. The Bills beat the Ravens 17-3 to on Saturday.